Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be jerry-rigging some Bush League DIY guitar effects. If you're thinking that I'm gonna pull out the soldering iron and circuit board to create some sort of an electronic device, oh no, you would be very wrong. All of these will be created in 100% all natural ways. Buckle up, this is gonna be a wild one. But before we get into it, I wanna quickly remind you that my new guitar course, Samurai Guitar Theory Beyond the Basics, is now available. This course is aimed at the intermediate guitarists looking to take their understanding of the instrument one step further. In it, I go over a number of topics, chord functions, four note seven chords, extended chords, the practical uses of modes, and more. This initial month, it's 50% off with promo code EARLYBIRD, and if you buy it bundled together with my first course, The Rudiments, you'll get them both for the normal price of one with that same promo code. You can check that out over at www.samuraigatarotheory.com. I'll put up links to that in the description as well. Anyways, let's get to it. The first effect I'm gonna to attempt to create is a flanger, which is a sweepy, whooshy type of sound. Think Barracuda by Heart or Spirit of the Radio by Rush. A very simple explanation for how this effect works goes like this. Take a sound source. Duplicate that sound source. Play them both together, but slowly change how much the duplicated sound is delayed and you'll get this sound. To recreate this effect, I'm going to put two microphones on my guitar amp. I will gradually move one further away and then closer back to the amp as I play. My theory here is that there will be a varying delay in the amount of time it takes my signal to reach the moving microphone. Combine that with the stationary mic and I hypothesize we should hear some flanging. I've rigged up a little contraption to get this done. Come with me to my dining room. Okay. As you can see, what I've done here is tape a microphone on a stand to my old skateboard. Attached to that is a resistance band. What I'm gonna do is kick the skateboard away from the amp and then pull it back with the resistance band. With any luck, things should get a little bit flangy. But first of all, here's what my amp sounds like with one stationary mic. Now, let's see if we can get some flange going. So the effect wasn't quite as pronounced as I hoped, even though there was some phasing in there, that sound. I realized that I didn't take into account a very important factor, the Doppler effect. As a sound source moves, the perceived pitch of it changes, like when you hear a siren off in the distance, for example. As I pushed the skateboard mic to and from the amp, I wasn't simply capturing a perfectly delayed sound. The slight phasing, I'm thinking, would have been because of our old buddy Doppler, not flanging. Oh well, let's move on to our next DIY effect. I'm gonna now attempt to create a spinning speaker sound, which is a pulsating, chorusy type of effect. Think Breathe by Pink Floyd. To do that, I have strapped my amp to my desk chair so that I can spin it around without it flying off and breaking through a window. I've routed my cables up through a microphone stand to keep them from getting wrapped around the base of the chair. I put microphones on either side to pick up the sound. The idea is I'm gonna play my guitar, spin my chair around at the same time. Let's see how it goes. Okay, promising results. The effect is definitely there. The problem I'm finding though is that the cables got super tangled and I just couldn't get the chair spinning evenly as I played. I do have a two-in-one solution for these issues. I'm gonna record a guitar part onto my loop station and play that through the amp, thus freeing up my arms for spinning and getting rid of one of the cables. Let's give it another take. That is what I'm talking about. I hope I don't come across as overly enthusiastic, but I'm very happy with those results. For our next DIY effect, come with me to my washroom. I promise it'll be fun. That doesn't sound great. 
Now, normally the type of music that one would make in the bathroom would be a private affair, but not today. I'm gonna use this space to try to get a nice reverb sound on my guitar. You can probably already hear it on my voice. To do this, I've set up three microphones. I have a close mic right on the amplifier to capture the sound of the guitar without the room. Let's see how that sounds. It's nice and full, but it's drier than British humor. To help with this, I have two microphones on the other side of the room to capture the amplifier as it bounces around this big empty space. Here's how that sounds. Combine them all together and check out my all natural bathroom guitar tone. While we're in here, there's another experiment that I want to try. I have no idea how this is going to sound, but um, I want to send my guitar signal through the toilet. To do this, I'm going to need to incorporate my talk box, which takes my guitar signal and sends it up through this tube. The idea is I can put this in my mouth and make it sound like my guitar is talking. Check it out. But instead of putting this into my mouth, I am gonna stick it into the toilet water and see what that sounds like. And trust me, I know what many of you are thinking. Sammy G, are you really gonna put your mouth tube into the toilet? That's nasty. First of all, I cleaned this toilet like crazy. Second of all, I ordered another one of these because there ain't no way that I'm putting this back in my mouth. Huh, not sure exactly what I was expecting. You ever have those moments where you think to yourself, what am I doing with my life? Me neither, back to the studio. Which brings me to my final homemade DIY guitar effect. And for that, I've got a riddle for you. What am I? <clears throat> I never get dizzy, though around I do spin. I keep things cool whatever room I am in. You can find me on the roof or carry me in your hand. If you ever need a homemade guitar tremolo effect, just play through me. Because I'm a fan. Let's see how this sounds. Sounds like when I was a kid and used to talk into the fan pretending to be an alien, but now instead of hearing a stupid little child voice, I heard a guitar. What's happening here is the blades of the fan impede the sound as they pass by and then let it pass through normally when they're out of the way. It's like if I wave my hand in front of my face really quickly creating a tremolo effect. I mean, it's kind of cool. However, the fact that the microphone picks up the mechanical noises of the fan renders this totally useless in any practical situation. But if you haven't figured this out yet, this video was not about practicality. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, a DIY guide to creating your own homemade guitar effects. In conclusion, I'd like to offer some words of advice. I wouldn't recommend doing any of these. They were all time consuming, labor intensive, and significantly worse sounding than their digital equivalents. Don't forget, you can now get my new course, Beyond the Basics, over at SamuraiGuitarTheory.com. This course is designed for the intermediate guitarist looking to make that jump to the next level. In it, I teach the system I use for making music, I hired a professional animator to make the tough stuff easy to understand, there are quizzes, documents to accompany the lessons, and more. This initial month, Beyond the Basics is 50% off the promo code EARLYBIRD, and if you buy it bundled together with my first course, The Rudiments, you can get them both for the normal price of one with that same promo code. You can find that over at www.samuraiguitartheory.com. Don't forget to use the promo code, and I'll put up links to that in the description as well. Thank you all for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for a wide range of musical content. If you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button and leaving me a comment. And if you want to check out another video like this one, you can hit that link up there. Till next time, I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.